Hey everybody, happy Monday to you all. It's time for our chart of the week, and this week we're going to be focusing on big industrial name Caterpillar. Let's go ahead and mark this chart up as we go along. So since the middle of summertime, this stock has been making just a tremendous run. Higher highs, higher lows, with a bunch of gaps in the middle of the chart where the stock did extremely well post earnings, those two times right there. When we see a stock that makes higher highs and higher lows, it usually tends to when it gaps up, it has a usual bit of a rest period, right? So we've had a little bit of a rest period over here in late July, early August, and then it, it really fired up. And then we also had that period in July as well, too. And then in September, right, right after a huge gap up there, the stock kind of went sideways for a little bit. And we're kind of in that same kind of mode right now. We caught support there at the 50-day moving average, which is the blue line here. We had some good volume. We noticed that the MACD has started to modestly roll over, but we would expect that after a big, huge surge like we had a couple weeks ago post earnings. And once we get lifted above that high, which is a little over 140, close to 141, we think that Caterpillar has got some higher moves ahead of it, probably up to the 150, 153 range. Note that the relative strength has just been absolutely tremendous the stock for a big cap name to to spend all this time above the 70 area on the rsi is just almost unprecedented money flow has been positive it's been coming down a little bit over the past couple of weeks of course from the highs from early october early and late october but we like this stock and uh we still believe the institutions are still piling into the name and we saw that happen post earnings and the stock is still continuing to gather some momentum here, even though we're resting a little bit right now. It's above all the moving averages as well. And uh, we think that after this little short rest period, the next couple of weeks, the stock is going to start making higher highs again and higher lows. So that's Caterpillar, one of our favorite names here uh, in the space. And we think that probably mid-150s by the end of the year is nothing is not a, a bad target as well. So thanks very much for watching, everyone. That's Caterpillar, and have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.